which stands as tall as a 12-story building. This is the next version of GSLV launch vehicle of India, GSLV Mark II. From the frozen completely. As a 12 story building. This is the next version of GSLV launch. 10 miles in the field of satellite launch vehicle. Generous effort in a hard way. Crossing important milestones like SLV 2, PSLV and the PSLV. This difficult road led ISRO to the successful development of Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle or GSLV in 1990s with an aim to develop indigenous capability to launch ton-class satellites with a geosynchronous transfer orbit. GSLV Mark I used Russian cryogenic upper stage while Mark II used indigenous cryogenic upper stage. Mark III, though a technological successor to its predecessors, is in fact entirely different from Mark I and II in terms of its structure, size and stages. The design of Mark III has been perfected and adapted using the experience gained over time in development of its predecessors. The structure of the Mark III was tested for the atmospheric regime of flight in 2014 when it carried a crew module to a height of 126 kilometers. Both its solid and liquid propulsion stages performed with textbook precision. The crew module later descended to Earth in a controlled manner and was successfully recovered from the Bay of Bengal. The GSLV Mark III D1 mission is scheduled to be launched in June 2017 from Sri Harikota. The overall length of the vehicle is 43.43 meters. The two large solid S200 boosters form the first stage of this vehicle. Each of these is 25.7 meters long and 3.2 meters in diameter containing around two can we fresh okay maybe now let me adjust I was seeing to at least 480 9 meters long and 1 meter in diameter. The third stage stage is 13.5 meters long, 4 meters in diameter, and contains 27.5 five tons of liquid hydrogen I want you to play it Pelo Tiruvannandapuram was responsible for the engineering and design of the vehicle. Not paused again. Two major stages of Mark III, L110 and C210. was carried out at IPRC Mahindra. All the stages of the vehicle were transported to SDSC Shar, where these were integrated, assembled, and ready for launch. 
The first development of a flight of the GSLV Mark III D1 mission carries the 3.1-ton GSAT-19, which is a communication satellite having advanced features. The satellite carries multi-beam KU and KA band payload to provide high throughput of about 4 GBPS. It also carries geostationary radio radiation spectrometer to study the nature and characteristics of charged particles. This will help in carrying out continuous long-term monitoring of the geostationary radiation environment and enable the scientists to plan and build future satellite systems. GSAT-19 spacecraft contains several new technology elements realized by various centers and units of ISRO. Space Application Center SAC Ahmedabad has realized the communication payload of the satellite. Two new fabrication technologies, Direct Metal Laser Sintering DMLS and Aluminium Lined CFRP are implemented for the first time in realizing GSAT-19 antenna feeds. The KU and KA band antennas on board the spacecraft will generate high gain spot beams over Indian mainland as well as the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The satellite will facilitate the communication to the user terminals using KA and KA bands. The gateways for the satellite are then triggered in KA bands. To maintain the pointing configured with an onboard antenna tracking system. LPSC Bengaluru delivered propulsion system component. New high performance AR250 liquid apogee motor LAM and modular propulsion gas module are realized by LPSC Thiruvananthapuram. VSSC supplied all the composite elements like antenna, yokes, and substrates for solar panels and pyros. Indigenous 100 ampere lithium ion battery developed by VSSC and ISAC. All sensors and new technology elements like Mark III star sensor, microcast, fiber optic gyros, MEMS based accelerometer were delivered by LEOS while IISU provided inertial elements for the spacecraft. ISRO Satellite Center Isaac at Bengaluru was responsible for spacecraft configuration and finalization, fabrication of mainframe electronic packages, and also carried out the overall testing and assembly of the spacecraft. Geostationary radiation spectrometer payload was also realized by Isaac. This center also delivered the new technologies like indigenous 70 volt DC DC converters, indigenous bus bars, miniature heat pipe experiment, and loop heat pipe experiment. GSAT 19 will be launched from SDSC Shard, which will carry out all the launch operations right from the arrival of the spacecraft till its launch. It is configured with chemical propulsion system and will provide a mission life of 10 years. The master control facility located at Hartson will be responsible for spacecraft operations right from the launch to its end of life. The Mark III vehicle will lift off with a simultaneous ignition of both the solid boosters. At 114 seconds, the liquid core stage will be ignited. At 139.98 seconds, the boosters burn out and separate from the vehicle. At around 224.84 seconds, the payload fairing will be separated. The liquid core stage burns out at 317.12 seconds and will be separated from the vehicle. After two seconds, the C-25 stage will ignite and will burn for almost 600 seconds. Subsequently, it will shut down at 964.72 seconds. A few seconds later, GSAT-19 will be injected into a GTO with its perigee at 170 kilometers and apogee at around 36,000 kilometers. Once the satellite reaches its final orbit, 
the solar panels and telecommunication antennas will be deployed. Light or heavy, putting a satellite into orbit is a mammoth task. It takes a symphony of engineering, mechanics, physics, mathematics and dynamics to achieve the goal. GSLV Mark III D1 will be yet another triumph of our space program's root philosophy, space science, to the service of the common man. Welcome back uh, to the Mission Control Center. Six minutes, six the minutes. countdown is at minus seven minutes. Is Lago film ke baad puno hamse junne ke liye bahut dhanne baad. Ham launch se kari saath minute ki duri par is waqt. Aur jaise ki ham Lago film dekh rahe the us us samay launch minus eleven minute par vehicle director ne automatic launch sequence ko authorize kar diya hai. Ab saare parameters onboard computer ke jariye check out kiye jayenge. जहां तक काउंट का सवाल माइनस छह मिनट बाईस सेकेंड एक अब एक झलक जीएसएलई मारती रॉकेट के फ्लाइट सीक्वेंस पर इस रॉकेट का पहला चरण जो सॉलिड ईंधन वाला स्टोनलेट स्टापॉन है ये दोनों स्टापॉन जमीन पर एक साथ इग्नाइट कर दिए जाएंगे और जैसे ही ये इग्नाइट होंगे रॉकेट का लिफ्ट ऑफ हो जाएगा और लगभग एक मिनट चौपन सेकेंड के बाद रॉकेट के दूसरे चरण जो एक टन वाला लिक्विड चरण है उसे इग्नाइट किया जाएगा और करीब 30 सेकंड तक पहला और दूसरा चरण जो कि एस टू हंड्रेड और एल हंड्रेड एंड चरण है साथ ही साथ में प्रवास करेंगे जिसके बाद पहले चरण को सेपरेट कर दिया जाएगा इस वक्त रॉकेट करीब 60 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर पहुंच चुका होगा रॉकेट के दूसरे चरण के फ्लाइट के समय पेलोड फेयरिंग जो उपग्रह को वायुमंडल की उष्मा से बचाता है उसे लगभग 115 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर सेपरेट कर दिया जाएगा और दूसरे चरण के खत्म होते ही रॉकेट के तीसरे क्राइजिंग चरण को इग्नाइट किया जाएगा जहां तक एल हंड्रेड लिक्विड स्टेज का सवाल है उसका टोटल बर्न टाइम 200 सेकंड का और जब समय करीब पांच मिनट और बाईस सेकंड होंगे रॉकेट लगभग एक किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तक पहुंचा होगा इस रॉकेट का तीसरा चरण करीब छह मिनट तक बंद करेगा और लगभग छह किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड का वेग इस रॉकेट को प्रदान करेगा जो कि लगभग 50 प्रतिशत वेग है इस उपग्रह को अपनी अंतिम मंजिल में पहुंचाने में लगेंगी इस मशीन इस मशीन का पूरा समय करीब सोलह मिनट बीस सेकंड जिसके बाद जी साइड नाइनटीन उपग्रहों को अपनी मंजिल पर रॉकेट से अलग कर दिया जाएगा जी साइड नाइनटीन उपग्रह रॉकेट से अलग होगा उस वक्त वहां एक किलोमीटर पहले जी और छत्तीस हजार किलोमीटर अपोजी की ऊंचाई पर होगा इसके बाद जी साइट नाइनटीन उपग्रह अपने लिक्विड ईंधन वाले चरण का इस्तेमाल करके उपग्रह को 36,000 किलोमीटर सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट की ऊंचाई पर पहुंचाएगा इस वक्त काउंट डाउन माइनस चार मिनट बीस सेकेंड वी ऑफ द मिशन कंट्रोल सेंटर ऑल द सीनियर एग्जीक्यूटिव चेयरमैन इसरो डायरेक्टर बीएससी डायरेक्टर शाह डायरेक्टर एल बी सी और क्लोजली मॉनिटरिंग द The final phase of the checkout operations. The countdown is at minus four minutes. Mark, the four minutes ago, counting. As I indicated, we will have at T zero the ignition the of uh, two solid stop on boosters, S two hundred, with the ignition of the S two hundred solid stop on boosters. Vehicle will lift off, and at one hundred and fourteen seconds into the flight, we will have the ignition of the L one hundred and ten stage. And the L110 stage and S200 will travel together for almost 30 seconds before the S200 burnout burnout stage will be separated. At this instant, we will be roughly at an altitude of around 62 kilometers. L110 stage will continue to burn further for next to 200 seconds. And during the phase of the L110 stage, we will have the separation of the Ojai payload fairing, which will be separated at 115 kilometers. And uh, after the L101 ton separation, which will happen at 320 seconds, the vehicle would have reached an altitude of around 160 
68 kilometers. Immediately after the separation of the cryogenic stage, within the next two seconds, we will have the ignition of the C-25 stage, which will be burning for nearly 650 seconds. It's a single burn cryogenic stage. And uh, the C-25 burnout is nominally expected at 964 seconds, when the altitude of the vehicle will be roughly around 174 kilometers. And uh, 15 seconds later, we will have the separation of GG site 19. So countdown is at the minus 2 minutes 20 seconds now. Plate pressurization of H tank started. So all the final uh, topping operations for the cryogenic stage. The automatic launch sequence has so been checking the out all the health parameters. Level correction completed. And the gas cushion All the main parameters okay. we are seeing is becoming green as it goes through the checkout. Stand by for the time mark. Mark minus two minutes and counting. It's minus two minutes for the launch now. So minus one minute forty five seconds. We will wait for the ignition of the S200 solid strap on booster. Minus 1 minute 26 seconds. Red pressurization completed and H tank ready. We just heard the announcement of all cryo operations. The final phase of operations has been completed. The cool air supply to the payload fairing has been uh, disconnected now and then we will be of the cryo arm All very stations shortly. stand by for the time mark. Mark minus one minute and counting. Minus one minute. Minus 55 seconds. All shots are up. Minus 50 seconds. Seconds are up. Minus 45 seconds. Oh, he's praying us all. Minus 40 so. seconds. Minus 40, 40 seconds. Minus 35 seconds. Minus 30 seconds. Real time programs activated. Roger. Minus 25 seconds. Alert on VSPP open. Minus 20 seconds. Minus 20. Minus 20. 15 seconds. seconds. Cryon side you up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight, plus nine, plus ten seconds. Start the announcement. Start normal. Start writing. Plus two seconds. Vehicle at 18.7 kilometers. First stage performance normal. First stage performance normal as indicated by the range operation director. Plus one minute 30 seconds. So 90 seconds into the flight. Another 22 seconds we'll have the ignition of the L110 stage, which again is a very important activity. Well, yes, because that doesn't happen. And if you look at 
the plots of the time versus altitude and velocity we see a very clo ma close Never match with the pre-flight and the flight predictions good L110 ignited. Yes, L110 core booster minutes. has been ignited at exactly 114.9 seconds. The vehicle is at an altitude of around 51.5 kilometers. And uh, L40 ignition and performance has been indicated no normal. Hamis Swak, the rocket ke pehle charan ke face se gujar rahe hain, jaise ki aapne suna S200 uh, rocket uh, jo jamin par ignited ho gaya tha. S200 separated. Uh, just now we heard the announcement S200 solid stop has been successfully separated at 141.2 seconds and vehicle has entered the closed loop guidance in the second phase of flight. So, the uh, solid engine wale charno ka performance bilkul normal tha. Rocket ki uchai aur gati bilkul jaise vishleshan kiya gaya tha usi tarah se kaam karta hua. Dusra charan L110 stage abhi ignite ho chuka hai. और भी हमने रेंज ऑपरेशन डायरेक्शन से घोषणा सुनी कि यह सही सलामत काम कर रहा है। राइट नाउ वी आर एट 180 सेकेंड्स एंड द ऑल्टिट्यूड इज अराउंड 95 किलोमीटर। L110 परफॉर्मेंस नॉर्मल। एंड वी अगेन हर्ड अनाउंसमेंट ऑफ द नॉर्मल परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ L110 स्टेज। एस पर द नॉर्मल सीक्वेंस एट 220 सेकेंड्स � Altitude 105 kilometers, and very shortly we'll hear the announcement of uh, separation of the payload fairing. L110 performance normal. L110 ton stage performance is normal. As far as the range of the vehicle is concerned, it's almost traveled 200 kilometers from the launch base. It's an altitude around 117 kilometers. And heat shield has been successfully separated. At 225.7 seconds. Runs video here that was launched at 1925.